Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. Thank you for how you brought us through the week and brought us this far. We ask in the name of Jesus that you would be with us, that you would send your Holy Spirit to give us understanding, and that you, Lord God, would unfold your word to us. We pray, Lord God, that our hearts would be open, that our mind would be clear, and Father God, that we can hear you. Help us to hear from your heart, and Father God, give us grace, Lord God, in living out your word. Pray that you stand in me. May you be glorified. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So today we're going to be in Isaiah chapter 40. And if you are taking notes, the title of this message is Finding New Strength. In Isaiah chapter 40. The title of this message is Finding New Strength. Now the fact of the matter is, we all find ourselves at times weak, weary, tired, or just plain exhausted. And it could be from work or parenting, or just from life itself. But it's in these times that we need something outside of ourselves to give us strength. And in our text today, we'll see just how to find this new strength that we need so desperately. Let's begin reading in Isaiah chapter 40, and we're going to begin at verse 25. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 25. And I'm reading in the New Living Translation, beginning in verse 25. To whom will you compare me? This is God speaking. Who is my equal? Asks the Holy One. Look up into the heavens. Who created all the stars? He brings them out like an army one after another, calling each by its name. Because of his great power and incomparable strength, not a single one is missing. O Jacob, how can you say the Lord does not see your troubles? O Israel, how can you say God ignores your rights? Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Amen. So this is Isaiah. This is about the middle of the book of Isaiah. In Isaiah, God's people, the Israelites, have been exiled. And chapter 40 actually starts a turn in that story where God is bringing them back. And at the beginning of this chapter, God is telling the author to um, comfort his people. God is going to be good to them again. And so that's the context that we find this message that God's people are coming back, but they feel a sense of despair because of the, the, the time that they've spent in exile, the time that they've spent um, basically in judgment. Now, that's the context, but I'm broadening the context to include the various situations where we find ourselves in need of new strength, where we find ourselves tired or weary. So if you're taking notes, the first point, is God is the unmatched ruler of creation. God is the unmatched ruler of creation. In verse 25, he says, Whom will you compare me? Who is my equal? Verse 26, he says, Look at the, the heavens. Who created all the stars? He brings them out like an army, one after another. He says he calls them each by name. Because of his great power and incomparable strength, not a single one is missing. So no one can compare to God, no human, not your mom, not your dad, not your wife, not your husband, no other um, power in, in, in the human society can compare to God, and no idol can compare to God, no other thing thought to be a God, no other idea worshipped as a God, no other possession or physical thing 
can compare to God. He is the unmatched ruler of creation. Secondly, God knows the details of your life. God knows the details of your life. Just there in that verse, we see that God, he created all the stars and he knows each one by name. And if he knows each of the stars that are countless, he surely knows the details of your life. And in verse 27, he says, how can you say the Lord does not see your troubles? In other parts of scripture, we see, see that God is all knowing that he, he sees what's going on in the east and in the west. He knows what's happening in this country and in that country. He knows what the evil is, the wicked are doing as well as the righteous. He sees all. And God sees your troubles. God sees your circumstances. God sees you in your situation. Thirdly, God gives power to the weak. God gives power to the weak. The one who never grows weak or weary gives power to the weak and he gives strength to the powerless. That's verse 29. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. And we see that in verse 30, even youths will become weak and tired and young men will fall in exhaustion. And it's basically to say that everyone gets weak and weary at some point. Whether young or old, rich or poor, whatever the circumstance is, whatever your life situation is, we all get weak and weary at some point and we find ourselves in need of strength. But he says those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. Those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. What that is speaking to is a supernatural strengthening. Supernatural strengthening. God will supernaturally enable you to try again, to keep going, to push on. When you trust in the Lord, as the scripture says, you will find new strength. Now, and I can give testimony to that at times where I've been exhausted, at times where I've been weary. And I've turned my faith and turned my trust to the Lord. He gives new strength. In my job, maybe there's a, a deadline gets extended. He gives new strength. Um, in my relationships, maybe there's uh, somebody who comes to pick me up or encourage me. God gives new strength and lastly number four don't give up don't give up in those times where you're weak and you're weary there's a temptation to throw your hands up and say that's it i quit or or just let things go and let things turn out how they will but i encourage you to not give up but to keep going god says that you will find new strength you're so high on the wings on wings like eagles he says, you'll run and you will not grow weary. You'll walk and you'll not faint. The imagery there is progression that you'll keep going. That you'll keep going. So I don't know what your situation may be today. Maybe you're in need of this new strength the Lord offers. Maybe you just need to know that the Lord sees you and cares about you and has the power to help you. Some of us we know God may sees us. We sense that he cares about us, but we may fail to realize that he is the one that has the power to help us. He says, if you trust in him, you'll find new strength. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we all grow weak. We all grow weary and tired. Whatever age or stage, we all find ourselves at times, Father, in need of strength. We ask that you would look upon us with mercy and grace and that you would take notice of us and give us strength for our lives. God, whether we need strength for work 
or for raising godly children. Oh, Father God, just strength for this moment in our life. Please give us new strength. Father, lift us up on wings like eagles. Send your supernatural strength, your supernatural refreshing. Help us to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. For you, Almighty God, you're able. You're able. We ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.